Hello everyone, I'm Chase of Rocky Mountain HVMC giving you a closer look at the V1 helmet from Fox Racing. All right everyone, thanks for checking in. Today we're giving you a closer look at the V1 helmet from Fox Racing. So the V1 now is using the MIPS liner system. That is the big update. That's why we're redoing this video because looks wise, it looks the exact same. But the big update now is the MIPS liner system that stands for multi-directional impact protection system. It has to do with rotational energy. That is a big safety feature that you see in a lot of premium helmets. So it's cool to see that Fox is taking the MIPS putting it into the V1, you're sub $200, so it's a more affordable price point. But we're gonna go through, we're gonna talk about everything that you're getting with the V1. And I also do wanna point out that now Fox, with all their helmets in their liner from the V1, the V2, and the V3, they're all sharing the MIPS liner system. So it's cool to see Fox is just taking a good helmet, making it even better. So before we talk about the features of the V1, let's talk about fit real quick, this is important. So I rode in the V1 when it first came out. It was down in California for their launch. I wear a size medium. That's what I measure for on their sizing chart. For me, it's a pretty snug medium. I wouldn't go to a size large, but it does fit pretty snug. Now me and another rider here at Rocky Mountain, I measured his head. He also fits for a size medium. Same thing, he felt like it was a pretty tight medium. We both noticed a little bit of pressure in the forehead. Not a deal breaker for me, but it's pretty snug. So what I would recommend is that if you measure your head, and this is important, if you are on the larger end, of that range, so let's say you fit in the size medium, but you're really close to a size large on their scale, I'd probably recommend bumping up to a size large. But in any case, that's why we have our fit guarantee. If you get this helmet or any other helmet that we sell, if you're not happy with how it fits, you can send it back in brand new unused condition. We'll give you free shipping both ways in your first exchange for the same helmet in a different size or a completely different helmet to make sure you get exactly what you are after. Now, let's talk about the features that you're getting with this. What's cool about the V1 is it comes in four shell sizes. That's not too common for an entry-level helmet. What's nice about four shell sizes, it just helps give a little bit better fit depending on the size of the rider's head. Also, for the smaller sizes, it helps reduce the weight a little bit because you're not taking a larger shell and just putting more EPS or more comfort liner in there to help you know, reduce the size. You're getting four shell sizes with four EPS sizes. Polycarbonate shell, if I had one gripe about the V1, it would be the weight. It is you know, what I consider heavier helmet, a size large, you're three pounds, 10 ounces. And the reason that I say that is just because I'm starting to see other polycarbonate helmets that are coming to market that are quite a bit lighter than that. So there's one thing I think they're gonna improve on would be the weight, but aside from that, everything else on this helmet's rock solid. You still have a really good venting design with the V1. You have nine intakes, so a lot of airflow. You got four exhaust vents, and that is one thing that I noticed when I rode in this helmet in California, what I like is you have these really big vents here on the chin bar. You've got big vents here underneath the visor. You can feel that airflow coming through the helmet. So I think it's one of the better venting entry level helmets that is out there. As far as the visor goes, they're still using the MVRS. So what they're doing now, and that stands for magnetic visor release system. You have a magnet right here in the center of the visor, but then you actually have some snaps that are on the side. So I will pop this off to show you. So you can see, there are your snaps or rivets if you wanna call it that on the side. There is your magnet in the front and the reason that this is an important safety feature is if you do go down, you do not want the visor to cause any additional torque and pull on the rider's head or neck. So by having or allowing that to break away easier is just gonna help mitigate those forces, be a little bit safer. What's also nice about having a visor that's you know, designed to release like that is that if you do go down and the visor does break off, and as long as you're able to ride again, you can just take the visor and put it back on there. Chances are you actually breaking the visor a lot less likely, so that does save you money if you do knock it off. So you're still getting that. Pop that back on real quick. All right, so easy to put back on. So that is the outside of the helmet. You can see down here at the bottom, you're DOT and ECE certified. Let's show you the inside. So the liner on this helmet, it's a very comfortable liner. It's removable, it's washable. So pull this out real quick. All right, comfort liner is out. So big safety feature here, you've got your EPS liner in there, but now again, like I said earlier, you now have the MIPS liner system. And the way this works is it goes between, obviously the comfort liner and the EPS, and it creates a slip zone inside the helmet. What the MIPS liner system does is it just helps mitigate and reduce 
the angular forces of that rotational energy. When you go down in a crash, what can really cause some serious damage is when you come to that sudden stop. So the idea with the MIPS liner system is to help the, the head continue rotating inside the helmet for just a few milliseconds after the initial impact to help disperse that energy. And you can actually see when I just take my hand inside here, so you can see with that in there, it moves in all different directions. And again, we're talking about just allowing a little bit of extra movement when you do go down to help mitigate those forces. You can see you do have some cutouts in that EPS liners to help with that airflow. And that is it. That is the V1 from Fox Racing. Solid helmet, I like everything about it. Good venting design. You've got that MIPS liner system. Now if you are looking at this and you're comparing it to the V2 with MIPS or even the V3, I'll point out some of the big differences. So you might decide to help you decide if you want to maybe go to the V2 or the V3. But again, we have product spotlights on those, so be sure to watch those. But if you bump up from the V1 to the V2, what you're getting there is the same shell construction. You're going to get more venting, and you're also going to get the dual density Verisorb EPS liner on the V2, which again, watch the product spotlight to learn about that. But then from the V2, you bump up to the V3. With the V3, you have their MCT. It's multi-composite technology for the shell. You've got carbon fiber and different resins, so it's going to be lighter. You've got their premium ecstatic comfort liner on the inside with the MIBS and that, that dual density Verisorb EPS liner. So again, go watch those product spotlights to learn all about those helmets. But if you do have questions or comments about the V1, we want to get those answers, so make sure to leave those below. As you can see, a lot of cool colorways to choose from. And to grab one of these, click on the link or head over to RockyMountAtvMC.com. Orders are over 75 bucks ship free if you like this product spotlight. Do yourself a favor, get subscribed, hit that notification bell, stay up to date because we are constantly releasing the latest and greatest product spotlights as well as our how-to videos that we're constantly doing. We've got our buyer's guides, our riding videos, all the content that you want to see, we have got it, so get subscribed to stay up to date. I am Chase, and we'll see you on the trails.